December 17th, Redemption, Creating the Need It Satisfies The natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14 The gospel of God creates the sense of need for the gospel. Is the gospel hidden to those who are servants already? No, Paul said, but even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 3 through 4 The majority of people think of themselves as being completely moral and have no sense of need for the gospel. It is God who creates the sense of need in a human being, but that person remains totally unaware of his need until God makes himself evident. Jesus said, Ask and it will be given to you. Matthew 7 verse 7 But God cannot give until a man asks. It is not that he wants to withhold something from us, but that it is the plan he has established for the way of redemption. Through our asking, God puts his process in motion, creating something in us that was non-existent until we asked. The inner reality of redemption is that it creates all the time. And as redemption creates the life of God in us, it also creates the things which belong to that life. The only thing that can possibly satisfy the need is what created the need. This is the meaning of redemption. It creates and it satisfies. Jesus said, And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all peoples to myself. John 12, verse 32. When we preach our own experiences, people may be interested, but it awakens no real sense of need. But once Jesus Christ is lifted up, the Spirit of God creates an awareness of the need for Him. The creative power of the redemption of God works in the souls of men only through the preaching of the gospel. It is never the sharing of personal experiences that saves people, but the truth of redemption. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. John 6 verse 63